Alrighty. Today's episode of What Are We Working On is a 66 Ford Mustang. And we had to replace a C4 transmission in it. It went out, so we sent it off to rebuild it. And when it came back, it didn't have the factory transmission lines on it to begin with. But if you can see, let's get the get it to focus. Fitting. Well. If we can get it up in there. There we go. That fitting right there. Okay? That fitting if you put a line on it, even if you bend it as sharp as possible, get the light in here, my hand's blocking it, it still hits the car, okay? You're still in the transmission tunnel on the car trying to put the line in. So, what Weatherhead came up with was this neat little feature. Now, you may think that's just a street elbow with an inverted flare fitting to pipe thread. No. Ford, in their infinite wisdom, made C4 transmissions with straight thread. So it's not a pipe thread right there. If you put a pipe thread up there in the case, it splits the case. And we found this little jewel. I was like, okay, let's order one. We went to order it from Napa. They had to get it from the warehouse. The warehouse, the manufacturer from, you know, Weatherhead, said they had 180 of these in the stock at the factory. Well, two weeks later, and three times of ordering it, come to find out Weatherhead had none in stock. Not a one of them. They did mail an empty bag one time, though. That was a neat feature. So, I went on CJ Pony Parts, ordered this, and got it in two days. They had it in stock. But what this does is it screws into the block of the transmission, screws in the side, and then you have this to put your line in. All right, let me set the phone down. We'll screw this fitting in, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here's a comparison of the two fittings. This one, you see, is just a regular flare. This one is a 90 degree with that special fitting, so you can always end up with it pointing down. So instead of having to worry about the line bending, getting in like this, you just thread it in straight and put it in under the car. So much better design. And if you don't have the original, I don't know what kind of tooling Ford used for the original lines, because they had an incredible bend radius. And my tubing bender won't bend it any tighter than this one, won't make that turn start any sooner. So I guess you could bend it, but you're gonna crimp it. And I really didn't wanna crimp a transmission cooler line. So let's get this fitting in there and get the car done. Okay, now we see the line installed in the fitting. And as you can see, it's just got a slight bend in it instead of over crimping the line, bending it too much and restricting the flow. Okay, now let's get it down off lift, take it for a test drive. Okay, we got the 66 Mustang here. We're gonna take her out for a little test drive, make sure our transmission shifts, does everything it's supposed to, make sure everything worked out on the rebuild and it's not doing anything silly. So far, so good. Make sure nothing's coming.
going to say Kevin did a good job. Uh, we took the transmission to Kevin Holiday. He lives in Caldwell, West Virginia. And uh, that's pretty much what he does. He rebuilds automatic transmissions. He doesn't do, he doesn't take them out or he doesn't install them. You gotta take him the transmission so it works out pretty good for me because I don't mind rebuilding a straight drive transmission but I never really have got into rebuilding the automatic so I don't mind taking them out, taking them to him, let him do his thing. He's pretty reasonable on the rates. And then we get the transmission back, install it, and you drive the car. So it's a pretty good deal. And I'm gonna say it's a success. Feels pretty good. No slippage. Yeah. I'm gonna call this a win. And say this is a wrap for this one. So if you like this video, if you wanna if you wanna see more of them. Uh, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the little bell, the little notification should be down there somewhere, the bell down in the bottom. Click that and you get notified when new videos come up.